Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how I make a video and in this case I'm gonna show you how I made a 15 second long video. I used um, basic techniques and also some more complicated things to make this uh, clip and I'm gonna try to explain it as best as I can but I also advise you to watch the previous tutorials because they can help but if you still don't find the answer to your question just ask me in the comment section below. I also split this 15 second long video into 5 parts when I made this tutorial so it's easier to explain and I also listed all the techniques that you are gonna need in that particular uh, part so I'm gonna show you that um, 15 seconds long video now and then I'm gonna start with the tutorial I hope you will like it, bye guys! I'm waking up to ash and dust I wipe my brow and I sweat my rust I'm breathing in the chemicals <laughs> So the first thing I always do is uh, put markers where the beats are in the song and you can do this by pressing M on your keyboard and you can find the beat uh, most likely where the lines on the auto track are getting suddenly higher so that means the drum or kick is there. Since I won't need the audio of the clips I'm right clicking on the track and pressing deleting track and then I'm adding a new uh, video track by right clicking and uh, add video track and then I press mute on the track that I have my clips on I also change the uh, order of the tracks by cli clicking on the button one and dragging it upwards I'm waking up to ash and dust I wipe my so I already knew I wanted to start with her opening her eyes on the first beat so I'm trying to find the point where she opens her eyes and then uh, position it on the first marker and then I'm pan cropping it to the position I want it to. Right now I'm gonna press S on the keyboard to split the clips into three and I'm gonna speed up the uh, middle part so it's gonna speed up her eyes swirling into the bluish color and right now I'm just highlighting the part to play it back to see uh, if it works I wanna position it more into a zoomed in position so it, the focus is on the eyes right now I'm just right clicking on the first uh, key and uh, clicking on copy and then uh, clicking on paste on the middle part and doing the same for the third part so all of the three clips are in the same position. I decided to cut the first few frames of the video because I didn't need it. For the masking you are gonna need a copy of the clip where we sped up her eyes uh, changing into the very blue color and when you're done with that you, we are gonna add black and white uh, effect to the bottom clip but we are gonna make it to become black and white for that you are gonna need to add a key right about there and that is gonna be the 100% black and white and your uh, beginning key is gonna be the 0% black and white so it's gonna slowly uh, change into black and white. We are gonna do the masking and for that you are gonna need to click on the pen and crop on the top video and uh, make sure that you are on the mask level not on the position level and make sure to check the box next to the mask and we are gonna need the anchor creation tool uh, we are gonna draw around the eyes by uh, left clicking on different points around the eyes and when you are gonna make the second selection just make sure that you are pressing a shift on your keyboard so you can do multiply selections and you can see that uh, since we have been zoomed in on the eyes the mask is not really where we want it to be but we can fix it by uh, clicking on the normal edit tool instead of the anchor creation tool and moving the little keys until we can see that it's in the position around the eyes and right here I'm right clicking and delete path 
on the uh, left selection because it's in a completely uh, wrong uh, position and I'm just gonna add a new selection by pressing shift and then left clicking around an, an area in a circle shape here you can see a full image of how the masking looks like so it's not perfect but um, but it looks good in my opinion and here I'm uh, deleting a few frames from the uh, top uh, clip Alright, so in this part I'm gonna randomly uh, place different clips um, right between the markers so the uh, two clips are gonna meet uh, right on the marker and if my clip is not long enough I'm gonna slow it down by pressing control on the keyboard and uh, left clicking and dragging it to the right Right now I'm gonna split the helicopter clip into two and uh, speed up the first part so the helicopter flying slows, slows down uh, right at the marker. And for the blue lights clip I'm gonna insert a new video track and set it to lighten and then make a copy of the uh, blue lights clip on the lighten uh, track and uh, with pan crop I'm gonna zoom in so we can see both of the clips and then I'm just gonna add the uh, black and white to the top clip and after that I'm gonna also add a film camera effect with which is gonna make it shake and uh, flicker a little bit and I also decided that I want the bottom clip to move so for that I'm just gonna add a key point right there and I'm gonna set the uh, starting key into a zoomed in position so it's gonna zoom out in the first few frames and then I also wanna make it zoom in so I'm gonna add a key point at the very end and uh, make it zoom in a little bit so it's gonna move the whole time so for the shooting clips I want the gun to go off or right on the marker so I'm gonna position it to that point and I'm just gonna fade in and fade out both of the clips and after I'm done with that I'm gonna uh, select the desert kiss clips and I'm gonna add the zoomed in one onto the lighten layer I'm gonna make a copy of that clip and I'm gonna press S on the keyboard to split up both of these clips and I'm doing this so that I can make the flashing images so one clip is gonna be the zoomed in one and the next is the uh, zoomed out one and I'm just placing them right after the other and that's gonna cause the images to uh, change very quickly and it's gonna be the flashing images but uh, I want it to be more interesting so I'm just right clicking on a clip and uh, pressing video clip pan crop and I'm gonna position them differently on each clip so it doesn't look like the same two clips are changing right now I'm adding a shake transition between the uh, blue lights clip and the kiss clip and you can see the settings to the shake effect right here for the car clip I edited very randomly you will see it right here and ju I just made a copy of the uh, car clip and I'm gonna right click on it and uh, click reverse which is gonna play it uh, back 
and make another copy of that and unclick the reverse and now I'm pressing S again on the keyboard and splitting the two clips at the very same point and deleting a section from the top one and then deleting the next section from the bottom one and then, and then putting back together and right here I'm uh, moving the first section in the middle of the original uh, car clip so you can see it, it was very random but sometimes it can look very cool if you play with reverse randomly <laughs> For the uh, couch kiss uh, section, we are gonna need uh, two clips, and I'm I'm positioning it right between the two markers right there. And I need it to slow down the second clip to fit between the markers. I'm gonna make a copy of that uh, clip and uh, place it on the lighten uh, track and position it so we can see both of the clips as we did before and I'm just gonna do the same and add black and white and also add um, the earthquake effect uh, this time and you can see the settings right there and I'm gonna fade in and fade out both of the clips and I'm gonna make the bottom clip disappear sooner and I'm also gonna make it zoom in towards the end and I'm also gonna um, make the first clip zoom in so it flows better I decided to also add the earthquake effect to the bottom uh, clip but uh, change the settings a little bit and I'm gonna add a shake transition between the first and the second clip so it's gonna shake on the beat and I'm also adding a multiply images zooming effect to the first clip and for um, fading out transitions I'm gonna use a roll and I'm slowing down the top clip so the transition fit, fits better with the music with the mirror clip I'm gonna position it uh, to the left and I'm gonna speed up the first part when she arrives to the mirror and I'm gonna do that by splitting the uh, clip when uh, at the point when she arrives closer to the mirror and then speeding up the first part and then slowing down the uh, second part so it's gonna slow down right at the marker I'm gonna fade in and fade out uh, the clips and I'm also gonna change the zooming effect so it's not that harsh With the ending I chose two clips, one is when he grabs her in the kitchen and it fits the music quite well in my opinion, so I just position it to the part where I want it to uh, happen with the music. And for the uh, second clip I chose the one with the flashlight and I'm slowing down this clip as well and uh, I'm gonna fade out the first one and fade in the uh, next one so it goes to black right between them as the music goes quiet too for the cave part I uh, chose these two clips uh, to uh, change between the markers as well but I felt like I needed something more for the last part of it so I wanted to make the flashing images uh, effect again so for that I chose a third um, clip and I split it up into little parts and I split up the uh, bottom clip as well into parts as we did before uh, the little uh, clips are gonna alternate between these two clips and when I played it back I decided to end this sequence with the uh, clip where you can see both of them 
so I'd made a copy of one of the little clips and made it uh, longer and positioned it to the very end of that and uh, for this part I'm gonna adjust the clips to fit the uh, music better and as we did before I'm uh, pan cropping all these uh, clips so it, it doesn't look like two clips changing the whole time I'm gonna add the roll transition to the very first uh, clip again since the clip before it ends with the roll transition as well and this is it <laughs>